How's it going everyone? Today we're gonna to be talking about intra-abdominal pressure or IAP. Um, basically, these two drawings here, we have a barrel and an hourglass. Uh, with the barrel, this is gonna be the correct position. Uh, if you can just symbolize this in your head, it's kind of a, an easy concept, but also can kind of get lost in the weeds. But this top line is the bottom of your rib cage, bottom line is your pelvis or your pelvic floor. And basically when we breathe in, the diaphragm comes down below the rib cage and expands the abdomen. Uh, so basically if we can imagine a barrel as our abdomen between our uh, lower rib cage and our pelvic floor, that's how we can create IAP and kind of get some uh, stabilization there where we need it. And then the opposite of that is that sucking in motion. Oftentimes people think of stabilization and intra-abdominal pressure or bracing as this six pack abs just suck everything in, get really tight and stiff, that's gonna lead to more dysfunction down the road. It may even lead to the extension compression stabilization strategy. Uh, what we want is more of that uh, synchronized stacking of the pelvis and ribs like this picture here. And that's what we're trying to achieve with all DNS positions here in the treatment room, as well as in the gym. Uh, so if you have any questions about DNS or intra-abdominal pressure and how to, uh, I guess, advance it into more complex movements, Make sure you click that link in the bio and schedule an appointment today. Thank you.